Uh, you, are you going to do this the whole time? Okay. Probably are. Recording. I am in a different view. I'm now walking up the stairs. I'm going to turn right. I'm going to get my oppressor. We are walking, running to the oppressor. Okay. And oh no, it's not there. All right. We turn to storage. All right. So we've been what two and a half minutes. The blocking in my presser, walking to the presser, I am getting next to the oppressor. I am pressing Y, getting on the oppressor, I am on it. Hopefully I can sync up the sound like I need to. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Turn that down. Oh look, I still got my bounty. See, someone put a bounty on me, so that's the cool thing is, I'm gonna get 9,000 eventually. So let me go back into my arcade. Because I'm gonna give you guys the knowledge and the tools and the practicality on how to make money in this game. And for the most part, I'm gonna do it easy, lazy way, because I know everyone likes to fuck around and have fun. Well, I am the king of it. At least I like to think I'm the king of it. That could be debatable. So, a lot of this information is for those that have facility and aren't starting out fresh. Uh, we will cover some stuff for, you know, new players, but um, there are less and less new players now because this game has been out for a long time. But, the thing that they've changed recently is in the arcade, this safe used to only hold uh, 50,000. It holds a lot more. I don't know what it holds because I keep not letting it get um, filled. Let's say it's 55,000, so it does go up. <clears throat> so I like to collect the money from there. Technically, you don't have to have all the arcade games. It will eventually fill up. It'll just take longer. If you have one of each of the arcade game, um, it will fill up faster can't just do one arcade game and just fill up the whole area. That was, uh, that was a lie. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll mention it again, a lot of this information is for those that have this stuff already and just don't know what to do with it. That was a comment I got recently. <clears throat> I'm also going to be, most likely, because what I tend to do is I'm going to repeat myself. And... I know there are people that only want to hear it once, and, you know, that's that's great. But then there are those that need to hear it more than once. I happen to be uh, one of them. Uh, the other thing I do is try to remember where I parked my yacht. I moved it recently. <clears throat> is This is the normal routine I do just to make income on the side. I'm in a private crew-only game. And why this is important is because there's a lot of stuff I can do in preparation. I have my nightclub going. I don't do the bunker anymore. But for those that do, which is fine, um, all that stuff is accruing money right now. And since I can't make a sell and I don't have enough to make a sell, I don't need to be in a live game. There's no reason to be in a live game. If I'm just going to grind and make some money and have some fun, not go around killing people, I don't need to be in a public game. So I'm in a crew only game. The reason why I'm in a crew only is because I need to do a lot of VIP missions and a lot of terabyte. 
care, but it's very important. But when I first get on, I do this because I need to warm up and wake up and figure out what at all it is I'm going to do. So as you can see, from the arcade, um, I forgot, what was that other money from? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make something simple. Could have been the last terabyte. I did a diamond. I don't know. I did something or event. Because I made, I played, before I made this video, I made about 100,000 in just a few hours. Just messing around. We were uh, going after griefers. We were going after those that were kind of messing up the lobby. Because I was in a huge crew only lobby, which I thought was really cool. Anyways, so what we do is I'm going to start, oh, I guess i got to become a CEO. And if you're new to the game, go work for someone. I know everyone and their mother will tell you not to. You, you need to go work for someone and have them do missions. This is why I have the yacht. It takes forever for this to pay out and get your money out of it. But I've been playing this for three years now. I've made my money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... The VIP. Actually, before I do, those working for me, you're going to be making five grand every 15 minutes. The more missions I do, you're going to start making 10 grand every 15 minutes automatically, provided I don't get killed. Every time I get killed, your salary gets deducted. So you need to keep the CEO alive. You need to keep me alive. That's just how it works. Now, in doing so, the salary, the why people overlook this is because the money, let me back out of this, the money goes right into your bank. See how it, in cash it's great? It doesn't go there. So you don't see it. People don't notice it. So what I would recommend doing is, like I can do right now, I'm going to take a screenshot. There, I took a screenshot of how much money I have now. So later on when I'm done with the video, I can see how much I made and tell you guys about it. Uh... So like I said, the money goes right into the bank. You don't notice it. But you're going to be making that automatically. The other thing is now that we're going to do the VIP, is I'm going to do this. And like I said before, this is for those that have most of this stuff. If you're working for someone, they can start the piracy. That's like 30, 40 grand right there. We're going to have to go through all that. See? Now, I'm in a private crew only. So no one's going to come after me. I'm going to go ahead and get my, uh, however you say that, Cosada. Cos you know what? I'm going to get my submarine out. And I do, you know, please forgive me, I do have a speech impediment. <clears throat> so we're going to get the submarine out. And for those that are working for me or anybody else, you won't be able to get your sub out, but you can still get... Your, um, what was that thing called? Or. I can't remember. Ain't you see? Well, we're gonna go get it and find out. We'll come back to that. But you can get your submarine out. Not the sub, but the little vehicle. The tornado. The tornado? Yeah. You can get your tornado out. <laughs> and do what I'm getting ready to go do. I have two of them. I have one in my sub and one in my apartment. It's good to have multiple vehicles. And also it's important to have an oppressor. The people, why, the, why people tell you the oppressors are so bad is because they don't want you to make money. I know these are like hard facts and hard truths that I'm giving out, but the game's been out for 12 years and people are still struggling making money. Oh, that's not what I want to do. So I'm trying to go to the map so I can do uh, the radar. I'm going to turn on the radar. Once I do that, I'm going to go to the map. This is going to give me an idea where all the treasures are that I need to get. See, I got two over here I can go after. I got, ooh, I got a bunch way over there. Let's just do that. Fuck it. All right, so... I'm looking for that. Actually, I'm going to put this there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast... This is why the other reason why I get the sub is I'm going to fast travel 
to that location. And don't forget that VIP is still going on for like 10 minutes. So we're going to fast travel. Uh, yeah, about there. And like I said, I do this in the beginning so I can wake up, get my friends in the game, or whoever else needs help, they can start, and then you've got time to um, get the rust off because if you jump from game to game, you know, it, it takes a moment. And in order to go and wreak havoc in other servers, which I know a lot of people want to do, um, there's a lot of preparation that goes to that. All right. Oh, I destroyed my... Oh, well, I'll fix that later. <sighs> Let me fix this real quick. Every time I get on that seat, it puts like a rebreather on my face. and Never mind. Like I said, I'm going to explain a lot of stuff. I'm going to go into a lot of details. And I'm going to get this out and this is what I have in my apartment as well so for those working for me or working for someone yeah Tornado um, you can still do this because you won't take my treasure you'll be taking your own treasure so while we're doing uh, piracy and there's a couple other missions that we can do that you don't need to be involved in it and this is how you make your moolah See, there they go. So we're going to go to this one first. Then we're going to backtrack. So now you can see I got five minutes left of the VIP. Usually I'm a lot quicker, but I'm explaining things, so it's, I'm going to be a little slower. But I've mentioned it in plenty of videos and comments. I can make millions in a few hours. And that's the kicker is you can't do this in one hour. A lot of the videos you see, they show it like in one hour, but they don't show you the preparation it took to get that one hour ready. So I'm kind of telling you, showing you guys from the beginning. Because if you play three to five hours, you can make three to five million. Sometimes less, sometimes more. All depends on what goes on in the game and... How much you fuck around? I mean, I do the same thing, you know? If you want to grind, then I would recommend doing the sub. But in between, you know, it, it can get monotonous and frustrating, so... This is just some stuff you can do in between. Boom! Now we have an extra 7,000. And I'm gonna go... Oh, well, it's gonna go to the other one. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the other one. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to edit this video down. But I'm also going to put this whole video out as well. I've gotten feedback from my audience and I appreciate you guys giving me feedback. Good, bad, and the ugly. But seems roughly, give or take, whoops. 50-50. Um, some like highlights only, and then some like long gameplay. So, I'm going to accommodate and try to do both. Uh, every once in a while, one of these treasures won't show up correctly. What the hell is it up? Oh, wow. Never seen it up there before. There we go. Now I'm gonna go to the next one. And I gotta remind myself to tally all this up later.
And even though I'm, by my own standards, behind schedule, I can um, make up for that here shortly. Oh, that's going to be down there. Yep. Dive, dive, dive! Oh, I can fly. I can drive. But, man, the mechanics of this is just not my cup of tea. Do I have any other ones to get you? I got one more. Well, two more. Holy crap. Holy crap, holy! I'm debating if I'm going to do my whole routine and just try to make a bunch of money or... Uh, or shorten it up. Because like I said, this is a two-parter video. I'm going to have the long version and a short version. And then this next fact is going to be mentioned a few times. You have to be able to take the time and you need to have a little bit of uh, patience. Oh. See, a lot of weeks why we don't go into a live game right away. But you have to have a little bit of patience. People want the money like right away fast. I have to wait the 10 minutes to get the money from the VIP. But this is faster than jumping from lobby to lobby and then doing the side quest. Even though it's like quad money right now, it, I will still make more doing my method. And I've got two and a half years to prove it. I mean, look, so you look at the money I have. And then shortly, I'll, I'll show you how much money I've actually spent. Maybe that'll give the credit that I need. There it is. Boom. We're already at 100,000 and we've only been playing for 10, 12 minutes because it's like 10 minutes for the VIP. So 12 minutes of work. Look what I have. And that's what I get at the beginning of every time. Here comes the other fact. Let me go find the other but we're going to travel to this one. This is what I was talking about. Since I'm behind on time, I still need to get more treasures. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the VIP. Oh, i got to wait. It won't let me. Ah, oh, buggers. Usually I can... <laughs> Normally I can do fortified back-to-back. -back. I don't know why it's not letting me this time. Ah. All right, fine. Let's just go get this last one and then I'm gonna move on but there's ten you can get per day uh, daily collectibles hidden catches say I've only done four I'm gonna go get five okay and then there's that one that's a different video you can keep track that way about it And even though if you're working for someone and you're waiting, this is the part that people are like, oh, I gotta wait, I wanna now, now, now. Relax. You're still getting paid five grand at this point in time every 15 minutes. In fact, I was playing with my friend Ford, and he thought he had three million, but because even though we're messing around, going after people, doing missions, yada, 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 uh, I'm still making money left and right, and I had him check his money, and he actually had six million. So, in the time that we were making, he obviously made like three million. There. Okay. Now, since I still got to wait that time, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to fast travel. I don't call it teleported because that's TP and that's toilet paper. TP is toilet paper. So don't use that initials. Then everyone else is going to think you're just toilet paper in your way around the city and that's just ridiculous. So I'm going to go here. I also have my buildings and my businesses and my facilities where they are all for a reason. Like I said, this has all been way over thought out.
Well, there, now that I go here, I also travel with a purpose because I don't like to get grief. This is a good way to stay and not get uh, grief. I don't want to be out in the open as you know as least amount as possible. Also, this is quicker and I can make more money quicker. So I'll go and get my other oppressor. It's also important. Is to have more than one oppressor. And again, this is for those that have most of this stuff. This isn't necessarily for straight out of the box, beginner, beginner. Have any lost here? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, the other thing I do to make passive money is I'm going to go in here. And this does take a couple minutes, but they did shorten it. And it doesn't, it used to take like three to four minutes, but they've cut it down. So I do appreciate Rockstar doing that. I'm hoping to have two vehicles in here. To mod. Yep, and I do. Woohoo! All right. Hey, what up? Got some work for you. All right, so hey. we're gonna do this. Diamond blue. Blue. Diamond blue. Diamond blue. Diamond blue. They did put this in a good order by now. And for those that are going to watch the whole video, I do appreciate that tremendously because there's a lot of information. And it's going to take a while to get that information out. Street breaks. For those that are doing the shorter version, I do appreciate that. I'm going to just try to give you the meat of it as soon as possible. What am I doing? No, I thought I was doing EMS tuning. Nah. Turbo tuning. Oh, well, whatever. Like I said, I'm not awake yet. Admission. There we go. Okay, bodywork. Roll cage. Front bumper. Custom chin. There we go. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Fenders. Arch extensions. There we go. And before, they'd give you like a bunch more mods to do, and they've shortened it. Appreciate that. VIP, hey, that's right there. Cool. Now, here comes the important part. Yeah, I gotta pay this. And then I can get 25,000 or more. You can actually get more than that. So I'm gonna get the 35,000 back plus some. Now, I'm gonna have my staff deliver it. And they're gonna bang it up and I'm gonna lose 10 grand. Okay, but you gotta remember though, this is we're doing passive and we're looking for the long haul. Letting them do it, because if I go drive it for myself, that's time I'm, I'm wasting that I could be utilizing my resources elsewhere. So I'll take the loss of 10 grand. And I'll have my employee do it, because you're still going to make a profit, a pretty decent profit. So that's what you're looking at. Now, while my employee is going to go fuck up the car and get me some money, it gives me time to do this next car. See, I wouldn't be able to do this car right now. I'd be, I would be on the road driving, and also a lot of times I'd be on the road in a live game. See, I can do this in a live game and not worry about stuff happening. And that's the thing too. If you do this in a live game, someone could shoot you. Then you're going to lose all your money. So having my employee do it, it's guaranteed money, and that's guaranteed. Uh, Profit. Body work, low cage again. Uh, oof. They have easy list choices. Exhaust. They used to do a bunch of options. Now they're picking cars that have like less options, so I can go through this a lot easier. There, my mind. Look at that. Okay, wheel type track. Uh, whatever the fuck that is. Oh, there we go. And now, once again, I'm going to have my employee do it. This one's 20 grand, so I'll make 20. And you could make 50 grand, 100 grand per car, so that's 200 grand 
So each time you do this, this varies. And then they do, Rockstar does bonuses every week, and sometimes um, even the top YouTubers don't have this information or know about it. But I've been doing this so often, I've got caught on. Like I said, I have a lot of information. And I won't be able to give it in a super short amount of time. But once again, I travel with a purpose. I have, see, voila. I have an oppressor. This way I can get out quicker. All right. So I don't need to show you the nightclub because you're going to see that in a different clip. Yeah, the other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to start my other VIP. No, I'm not. We're going to do the terabyte. Fuck it, let's do the terabyte. I'm going to go to my apartment. Because typically I would be coming out of my apartment. I, I got some variations and you guys, you know, can tweak this to your own custom. I'm just giving you the information, the tools, and the knowledge. And then you'll make it work for you. So typically, lately, I'll come out of my apartment here and... I will let me do that a lot of times I can have my submarine out and have another terabyte or MOC or whatever and the reason why I'm doing the terabyte mission is it's a very good way even for the newer players you want to get the nightclub and you want to get your terabyte. But we're going to request the terabyte. And ideally, is you saw that there was a four minute or five minute cooldown between VIP stuff. Okay, and that's fine. That's why we have the terabyte. Because while that's cooling down, I can do this real quick. I've been doing this so long, this should only take like two minutes. Sometimes less. Not much, but sometimes less. I'm going to go do the Diamond Heist. Alright, so we're getting ready to do the Diamond. And because I've done it so many times, I do it this way. I don't take the Terabyte there because if you do this in a live lobby, you're going to give away your position. I don't like doing that. So let's do this. Diamond Shopping. I'm not too far. The terabyte will be there most of the time. Paige, you can kind of shut up now. I really need you to shut up, Paige. Yeah. Okay. And if I have time, I try to let this try to get this diamond guy to come out. Looks like he's moving. Most of the time I can do that and they'll be the job off. And other crews can see the fucking page. Most of the time I can do that without that happening. Um, the diamond will come out and then I'll kill the guy. 
and I can just grab it and be done. But I call Lester, get rid of the cops. It's free. It didn't I take cost it me anything. Okay, my friend. I'll okay, so we're past the two-minute mark. We're gonna be done in three minutes. So, still, really good. So, in less than three minutes, we're gonna make the moolah. And you can do this in an open game and have less people have opportunity to come after you, but it's uh, a little more harder for them this way. Well, I'll see. We're already at almost 200,000. And what? Uh, by this time, 25 minutes of actual play. Now, what I would do at this point is I would head this way and do a haulage, and I would get my MOC out and make money off of that. Because, you know, if you're in a live game, oppressors. They can't touch you with the MOC, but again, I'm giving you guys knowledge and tools and practicality. Um, you can, you know, tweak it up and change it. So we're going to do one. I'm going to do fortified because you can do this one or two ways. One, I can go fuck off and go do what I, I want to go do, go mess around and not touch it. But I'm going to waste three minutes and you can do that and I have done that. Or, here's the kicker, go into the vehicle, and then simply get out, because the NPCs, or the mercenaries that come after you, are coming after you, not the vehicle. So, when they shoot at you, they're not going to kill you because you're in the vehicle protected. They're going to be shooting the vehicle, and that's what you have to keep alive. So, now that I got that all alive... I just get the hell out of there and let the NPCs try to come after me. Now, at this point, I would go and get my Tornado back and go continue getting the other five treasures. And that would increase the money I make. And while I want to be in a hurry and get money in a second, it's going to take more than a second. So, in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to make, you know, 30 grand automatically. Plus, if I get two or three treasures. Catches whatever, that's seven grand. That'll be about twenty five thousand I can get rough math. And that's gonna put me over the three hundred thousand mark, see? And then I can also go to my arcade. And I gotta remember to add this now. Not my arcade. The nightclub. At my nightclub you're gonna see that I'm gonna pull out two hundred and ten thousand. And that's gonna add to the total of what I made. So that'll be close to half a million already. Now I guess we. Oops. So this is good to do when you want to be more relaxed about it, and when you're trying to get you know people organized. And then when this gets tiresome or boring or you want to, you know, change it up, I can also do the KO Preco heist prep, do that. That's an easy million. And then you got to wait about 45 minutes unless you want to do it on hard, which is fine. Um, you can do those back to back. But this is a good routine where I do this for like an hour or so. Then I'll do one KO Preco heist, which takes just about under an hour because, you know, things happen. It's not always perfect to get it on a super quick least amount of time so I can rotate between VIP treasure terabyte missions and the KO Preco heist and that's where I mostly make most of my millions and then while you do that a few times my nightclub is also making money right now in the safe again so I'll be able to pull another 210,000 because that seems to be filling up quickly and then when I get to do the sell, I'll have to go in the live lobby. Okay, no big deal. And I got videos, and there's ways around that where you can get a empty open lobby. 
So again, no griefers. But then when I do the nightclub mission, that's another million. So we're looking at a million from doing this, a million from the KO heist, and then a million from um, the nightclub. That's three million. Oh, voila, look at that. See, 70 grand. Boom. 70 grand from doing those. See, that's what I'm saying. You're looking at profit. We spent about 50, so that's like 30, 20. Yeah, about 25,000 profit. See? Thank you for watching the video. If you want more, like and subscribe. All right, take care.